Lightning Squad, Rep Unit, Battle of the Gemini. I'd retired a war hero, someone who'd fought for the freedom of the off-world colonists. The poor guy kind of reminded me of one of those buffalo soldiers, blacks who had killed and died for America, yet weren't allowed to drink alongside whites. And maybe, just maybe, the photograph validated his own existence. Lightning Squad, Rep Unit, Battle of the Gemini. Locked. Kill it, man. Just took a wrong turn back there, that's all. Take your business elsewhere. An excellent idea. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. I checked with you, N. Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. See you later, Howie. Ground floor. <laughs> Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed at how accommodating a man can be after his hemorrhoids get lanced. You really been surprising the troops around here, kid. Gaff says you work that retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well, don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? Couple hundred chinion. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Shouldn't take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking... maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something... something nice. Once you start carving up that juicy bacon, kid, the taste never goes away. The great things in life, believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. 
Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Floor number, please. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Maggie, come here, girl. Who's the best dog in the whole world? Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath. My wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told my wrath. My wrath did grow. Crank calls were a dime a dozen in this city, and I'd had my share. Still, this guy sounded more like an English teacher than the average scumbag. If I'd been more awake, the message might have spooked me. Erase and reset. Portrait of the Sleep Deprived. Got your delivery here, man. Oh, uh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? <laughs> oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! Please, can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. 
Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only city leader! Extraterrestrial gravity! <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. Oh, I swear! I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. No, no, no. You one miserable package man. No. No, please, don't! Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry, I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break on it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are dealer or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Maggie, come here, girl. Good doggy. Your floor number, please. Roof. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. One more thing. I've told you everything I know, Detective. I gotta work. These monitors don't watch themselves. Yeah, it's a tough gig. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? I couldn't even begin to guess what Eisendeller's password was. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row.
It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for last year's infamous Lolita model, a big hit with the all-important dirty old man market. Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Eisendollar had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendollar, so I figured they must be worth having. Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Gaff mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir.
main frame, and shooting range. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. <laughs> 